Masking in HidFilm is used to manually define which parts of a layer are visible. Practically, what this means is masks are used to cut holes in your layer so you can see what is behind that layer. Animating masks in HidFilm is an important part of your job as a VFX artist. I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. Let's talk about animating masks in HitFilm. First, to create a mask, use the masking tools to draw the shape you need. Start by selecting one of the mask tools, then select a layer on the timeline. In the viewer panel, begin drawing to add a mask to the selected layer. You may want to use the layer panel to make sure it is easy to see your layer and the mask that you're drawing. When multiple masks are created, each mask will be assigned a unique color so you can easily identify which mask is which. For all mask shapes other than basic rectangles or ellipses, you will use the freehand mask tool. Freehand masks can be used for creating very complex mask shapes. With the freehand mask tool selected, you can click on the viewer to draw points. Clicking and dragging creates a curved line, while clicking and releasing creates a linear straight line. The shape of curved points can further be adjusted using the extension handles. You can change the type of any point by right-clicking on it and choosing the desired type from the menu. These include the following. Make Curve Locked is where both extension handles work in tandem. This means that adjusting one will adjust the other simultaneously. This is useful for maintaining smooth curves. Make Curve Unlocked is where the extension handles can be adjusted separately. This can be useful for creating sharp corners while retaining a curved line. Make Linear is where the point forms an angled corner and the line on either side is straight. This is the type of mask point that I almost always use. To activate a freehand mask, it must be closed. To do this, simply click again on the first point that you created. Of course, you will need to create at least three points before you can close the mask. Then, the mask will be closed and activated. Once a mask has been created, it can be edited and therefore animated. There are two primary ways to edit or animate a mask. First, by using the selection tool, you can edit or animate the entire mask as a whole using the position, scale, and rotation properties. To animate the entire mask as a whole, simply turn on keyframing for position, scale, and rotation as necessary. Second, by using the freehand mask tool, you can edit the actual points of the mask, both individually or in groups. If you want to make adjustments to the mask shape itself, you will need to use the freehand mask tool. To animate the mask shape, first turn on keyframing of the path property. Please note that while you have a variety of keyframe interpolation choices for the position, scale, and rotation properties, you only have linear interpolation available for the path property keyframes. Individual points can be clicked and dragged to change the shape. To edit multiple points at once, you can drag a marquee around the points to select them. A bounding box will appear and closing the selected points. Dragging any corner will uniformly scale the selected points from the center of the bounding box. Holding shift will override the aspect ratio lock and allow freeform scaling from the center of the bounding box. Holding control or command on a Mac will uniformly scale the selected points from the opposite corner of the bounding box. Holding Shift and Control or Shift and Command on a Mac will allow freeform scaling from the opposite corner of the bounding box. Holding Alt or Option key on a Mac and dragging any corner will rotate the selected points around the center of the bounding box. 
Right-clicking on a selected point opens a menu with several additional options. Select All can be used to select all points in the mask. Double-clicking any selected point will also select all the points in the mask. Invert Selection will select all the currently unselected points, while at the same time deselecting the currently selected points. Reset will restore the mask to its original shape. That's pretty much it when it comes to animating the shape of a mask. One more tip about animating a mask though. Clicking on a connecting line will add a new point. This point, however, will not be animated with the previously created keyframes. So be very careful when initially creating the mask and also while animating the path property. If you enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like. Also, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Tutorials like this come out weekly. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.